And you guys remember Hannibal Nyako, the 12 year old girl who brought out the solar project and implemented it on a clinic in Iron City in Kaswa. We are in the Iron City right now, and right behind me is Hannibal, a 12 year old girl who has programmed an automated solar system for a clinic in her community. Today we are back here in Abutuase in the Oti region of Ghana. It doesn't look like uh, <laughs> Hannibal is stopping anytime soon. She has implemented that same project here in Abutuase on a health facility. And so we are here once again to let her take us through the project. Today we are going to go into details. The one we did in Kaswa was uh, uh, pa, 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 and before we went everything was already assembled. Today we are on time. She is going to be taking us through the step-by-step -step process of how her solar project is implemented. My name is Kwame Bless Wins. You can call me Wins for short. In a small community, where challenges often outweigh resources, there are dreams that shine in the heart of the young. A place where for years, darkness threatened hope. But one girl, Fueled by determination, had a vision to bring light where there was none. My name is Hannibal Boko Anyako. I am 13 years of age. I am in grade 8 at school at Hillview, Montessori at Ashoman Estates in a club called Girl Guide. And it's only for girls to prove that women and girls can do something. And then so Girl Guide brought um, some STEM projects up that they want to prove that women and girls can do something in STEM. So then they said, um, every, um, your science teacher and math teacher will choose a student for them. And they chose me and two friends of mine. And in each school, they will take 10 girls. And then in my school, the 10 girls I was part. It was a competition, yes. My friends, um, one did water purification and one did um, solar irrigation and some one also did smart community somebody did windmill i did an automated solar system at just 13 she embarked on a journey to create something extraordinary she saw a need an urgent one at the hospital that serves her community and from that need an idea was born to harness the power of the sun to light up the night and bring safety to those in need i know that there are a lot of solar projects in ghana here but according to some of my research it's not like they are automatic that's somebody will go and create it for them but my own no one will create it when light goes off it will send the darkness and immediately the light comes back and then i actually did it because during the competition time ghana was facing a lot of power outages that's doing so and um one of the problem it caused was that a baby died in an incubator due to doing so so it was a bit painful that's why so after trying the project out and seeing that it works. I said I will not stop here, so I continued and implemented it at Ion City at Kaswa. We, they built a new facility there, a hospital there, so I went to implement it there. And today I have implemented it at Uti region in Abotuase Reproductive and Child Health Unit. Before her invention, the hospital struggled in the dark. In moments of crisis, patients and doctors were left with little more than torches to guide them. The nights were long, and the fear of what could go wrong weighed heavily on everyone. Sometimes lights goes off at any time without any announcement. We just be there, light is off. And where we are now, we are in the middle of the town. Sometimes thieves come here at night when the light goes off. We were doing a net distribution. We brought nets here. Thieves were coming to steal it. 
when the light went off. So the ECG, it helps though, but when the light goes off, we suffer a lot. Sometimes you'll be writing report at night, then the light will go off. You will not know how to do it again. You'll be on your phones. You don't know what to do. So you face a whole lot of challenges. You know, there are a lot of uh, things that we use over here that if there is light out, probably we face challenges. Uh, we have uh, those the calories, let me use that one, you know. Sometimes it needs to be stabilized before we use for a client. And if there is light out, we don't normally use it. So those are the, some of the challenges that we normally face. I did it in Kaswa. And Kaswa is not my hometown, it's not where I come from. So why don't I make something that I have done in Kaswa, some place that is not my hometown, at my place where they can also benefit the same as what others are also benefiting. People spend four hours on this river to come to this facility and maybe they'll reach here and there is a power outage. They'll have to go back and come back again when the power is back, which is going to cost a lot of money and waste of time too, and which is not going to help the health of the child. So when you have a solar automated system like this and there is a power outage, you are sure that no one is going to waste their money. With limited tools and boundless creativity, she built a solution that no one had expected, but everyone needed. Her hands crafted hope, piece by piece, wire by wire, powered by nothing more than the energy of the sun. My prototype, I didn't buy like a solar panel, but I bought solar cells to make solar panels. So the solar cells, I joined them together, then just got an aluminum frame and glued it on it and also used a glass cover. And then uh, it had wires too. So then I connected the wire to the battery. It's also to, the solar panel will charge the battery. And then we, I had um, a circuit board that the sec, on the circuit board I had relay model, um, photo resistor. The photo resistor is the sensor. And then I also had backhome vector. So the sensor uses five volts and the battery contains 12 volts so then the back convector will then convert the 12 volts into five volts for the sensor to use and then the relay model is it closes and opens the circuit automatically and then the sensor to it senses the darkness and then it triggers the light to on today the hospital is no longer swallowed by darkness a solar light she created now guides the hands of doctors, eases the fear of patients, and brings life back into the night. A simple idea has transformed an entire community. Actually, combining my studies with the projects in a way like my academics with it, and then also the project failing in some parts, the experiment failure, that's joining some things and you feel and you, you kind of trying like, I need to give up on this because it's not going to work again. And that's something I feel. So I didn't try a lot of times because the things I used were good. And so maybe the things I failed inside was connecting the wires and actually sometimes forgetting negative and positive, which is going to cause problems. And also sometimes the sensor will not be working because of something by you might not know. All right, so after, after the whole installation, this is like the control unit, right? Yes. This controls everything. Yes. So tell us what is here and how it functions to keep the solar running <laughs> in this facility. So in here, we have a cable connecting to the solar panel and to the battery. Oh, there's a battery in here. Yes, there oh, is a okay. battery in here connecting to the charge controller and also the this is like a circuit system. So this is a charge controller. Okay. The charge controller is mainly for 
cutting power when the battery is fully mm. charged. Oh, okay. So that, that will make the battery last long and also keep well too. And in here we have the relay model, photo resistor and back convector. The back convector is for the is to convert five volts into twelve volts for the sensor to use. Mm. The battery carries twelve volts and the sensor needs five volts, so it then converts the twelve volt into five volts. And then in the relay model, opens and closes circuit automatically. It's mm. like a switch. Okay. So then immediately the sensor will uh, like sense the um darkness it will trigger the relay model to close circuit automatically then the light comes on so this is what actually does the magic once the doom saw comes yeah oh, okay interesting but i see some usb ports here that's to charge your phone or any important thing you have at that moment so can this charge a mobile phone now yes i would i would love to can i get my okay give me my cord let me try this I hope it works. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this works. Okay, let me try that. Oh, the charger is even on. <laughs> wow. Let, let me try my phone. It's charging. <laughs> wow. This works like magic. Let's try it, even though there's no darkness. Let's. Oh. Okay, let's take it off. Interesting. Oh. Let me try it myself. Maybe, the, maybe because you did it, it is trying to. Do so, no do so, do so. Oh, interesting! Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations! This is a genius uh, invention you have done here. Her work has inspired more than just the staff at the health facility. It sparked hope in the hearts of the assemblyman. She is a reminder to everyone that change doesn't come from age or experience, but from the courage to care. So the solar that has been installed will contribute in so many ways. Uh -huh. Like I said, we have been doing family planning and session and removal. So maybe at night a client came, you are doing session, the light goes off. The solar will help us to see at least and then do your insertion and then your remover. Sometimes report writing, we stay here at night to write some reports sometimes. Uh -huh. When it happens like that and the light goes off, the solar will help us to at least do our work comfortably. It's really going to help. I, I said uh, because of the lighting system, when the light goes off, Sometimes we just have to take the case um, in outside. Now we have solar, and it's really going to help us keep the patient's confidentiality good. Because now you're not going to take cases outside when there is light out. As soon as the light out comes, you know, there's going to be a change over and we are going to continue doing our process. It will help us render quality service too. Our mothers and to the children that we take care of. At a large, the potency of our vaccine will be maintained, whereby we won't have our vaccines running out and then to be safe for the mother and then the baby too. We are very grateful because it was something that we didn't even look forward to, but now it's here. And then it will go a long way to help us in our service delivery. As long as we want to be the best among the best. So we are very grateful. We should keep up the good work. No, it's very impressive seeing a very 13 year old girl fixing this thing something that i mean even a grown-up can't do and i'm encouraging the government to train more of these youths in order to do more so that ghana can be a very better ghana that you wanted what he has done is a very good thing it will help everybody it will help uh, it will help especially we health workers it will help us uh -huh. So she should at least help those around her to also become like her, so that we we'll have many of them in our system. So see, how more anya solar in? It shows a a light to cry, no me do no cry. It's a uncle for being who can. It's me about the facility. As that, can see, Anna, 
Yadi Bema a year thirteen years. A corral we are waiting me a cushion be bisa. Sir, what then a day? Sir, or ye a day a boabua communities. Na as a dacassian a year de mano. Ye community had ye. And you say, can share the end this car, but in Pibona a better nature. But me the whole world, the whole Ghana, say. A quarter or TC now with Timmy and your sir in DSA. I would Timmy a year more communities in the same in your agent castle. The messer, the who will be be or be our piano, who be Timmy as soon as he and as over Buano. I'm awaiting me a year more. In the same, what shall see a year hang one or shall see a face or shall see them in the same a day or be ye a manatra. Nina air support into Obia with him in car as assemblyman, Miss Red Bibia say a ombetimi abwa, a man a corana a bed than a dachin be. And we say in Diani de Asia, yea, and say a notch as a coco coso. A day one day, one day, or best by the yeni packet to it will be a wo, or my moon in my. But her journey doesn't end here. She dreams of doing more of solving more problems, of lightening up more lives. And with the support of people like you, she can. Together, we can ensure that no one is left in the dark. I'm not stopping here. I have other projects on health and agriculture, which I'll be implementing soon in Ghana here, and then the whole world at large somehow challenging and then after doing the casua implementation i've gotten a list of communities that want this kind of projects there and i have to say it's difficult to do it because it's a bit costly and then it's somehow challenging so i want more supporters and more sponsorship to help me to do more for ghana a big thank you to my family for supporting me and another thank you to Girl Guide for helping me have the interest in STEM and then helping other girls also have interest in STEM. But I want to encourage girls to be in STEM. STEM is not a difficult thing to do. It's just small practicals and you have just solved a big problem. And then also, I want to encourage them to join clubs and groups that will help them in the near future, that will improve on their lives for them. And they should never give up on the good things they are doing. They should continue doing it, no matter what happens. One idea, one light, one girl, and a future that shines brighter than ever before. This is the story of Hadibel Nyako, the 13 year old who is making a difference and building Mother Ghana. And so let us celebrate and appreciate her. Let us support her to be able to do more of this project. Building Ghana is a collective responsibility. And if we have people as young as 13 years thinking about these solutions, then we really need to do something. We need to support her. My name is Kwame Bilez Wint. If today is your first time here, please do all the support us by subscribing to our channel, like this video. Let us know what you think about this innovation in the comment section. Like and share.